Well, we had a uh, citizen that came in and wanted to know if we would accept animal CPR training and animal CPR mask. Uh, it's kind of a one of those things that you just don't think about because usually we would take something similar to this and uh, and use it to just hold it over the dog or cat's snout. If we have a you know a fire and they're right. shooting. And usually the, the animals will just come running out when we open the door. I've had times where they just about knock you down, but times that we also find them that they're a little you know, unconscious or just really not feeling good. So we would kind of hold the mask over their face and you'd only get good a good seal. A citizen that came in and she wanted to donate these to put on each one of the fire trucks. So we have paramedics and EMTs on the trucks. We have the oxygen already. Uh, we already, you know, we already had the, all the tubing for the oxygen. We didn't have specific masks for pets. And these are actually quite good. They have animals inside, and uh, it gives them a real good shot at getting out. Because I'd say we average one or two uh, a year, but that one or two times is, you know, somebody's family pet.